Hello students, good evening to all of you. So here I am going to discuss uh, exercise on uh, system of particles and rotation motion, single answer type questions. So let's start with the first question. The center of mass of a body is moving with uniform velocity of 10 cm per second. Uh, the force is applied on the body which are in equilibrium. So the velocity of center of mass would become. So students, basically here the particle is the uh, center of mass is velocity is 10 cm per second. But in the force is in the equilibrium. Mein hai. So it means that whenever forces are in equilibrium, uh, means net force on the body is zero so the velocity of center of mass will remain unaffected so its answer is 10 centimeter per second so pehle ka answer ready a uh, firecracker following a parabolic path explodes in mid-air the center of mass of the fragments will follow a path so students uh, basically again similar problem hai so the explosion hai in this all the internal forces are involved no uh, like uh, external forces are involved there so because of that if no external forces are involved there uh, the center of mass uh, will still uh, follow the path jo pehle follow kar raha tha. so that is parabolic so answer should be parabolic along the same parabola so its answer hai option c there so because no external forces are involved so the center of mass fragment will follow the same path like parabolic path so c is the answer uh, the correct relation between the linear velocity and the angular velocity oh my guess that is option a there v vector is equal to uh, omega cross omega vector cross r vector so this is the appropriate relation or the relation between the linear velocity and the angular velocity so a is the answer the next question is the expression for the torque in the polar coordinate so in the polar coordinate system uh, the relation for the torque is simply torque is equal to r cross f yeah simply you can write rf sin phi so rf sin phi is the relation for the torque or the expression for the torque in terms of a polar coordinate so chothik answer option a there then we have the moment of linear momentum. So moment of linear momentum students is known as the angular momentum. So option C is the correct answer for the fifth question. That momentum of linear momentum is called angular momentum. So C is the answer. Now let's come to the sixth question. So to maintain a rotor at a uniform speed of 100 radian per, se 100 per radian per second, this is basically an engine needs to transmit a torque of 90 Newton meter. So power of engine must be. So power is basically tau omega. So this is the relation torque omega. So this is some power calculate kar sakte hai. So power is a like torque given hai question mein 90 Newton meter. So this is 100 radian per second. So we'll simply put the 100 there. So yahaan se solve karne pe humar pasaega 9 into 10 raised to power 3. So power is 9 into 10 raised to power 3. Or we can say that it is 9 kilowatt because it is 10 power 3. So option A is the answer for the question number 6 there. Now let's come to the seventh question. The relation between the torque and angular momentum is so torque or angular momentum current relation hai torque is equal to dl by dt so that is option a so seventh ka hai answer option a there uh, it is similarly like uh, when we talk about the force is basically uh, dp by dt similar in the rotation mechanics the torque can be written as uh, dl by dt then eighth question a rigid body is said to be in translational equilibrium when its velocity so body is in translational equilibrium so if its velocity is zero or it is uh, moving with some constant constant velocity so uh, option c jo hai iska sahi answer hai constant bhi ho sakta hai aur zero bhi ho sakta hai so body is in uh, translational equilibrium if its velocity is zero or it may be constant so question 9 ka c uh, 8 ka c answer hai so then let's come to the ninth question a rigid body is said to be in partial equilibrium sometime body is in the rotational equilibrium sometime it is in the translational equilibrium so body uh, that type of equilibrium is called partial equilibrium so uh, if a body is in partial equilibrium so we can say that it is a uh, like only translational equilibrium or uh, if it is only uh, in the rotational equilibrium or if it is only in the translational equilibrium so that condition is called partial equilibrium so option c is the correct answer like for example if a body is only having translational equilibrium then the equilibrium of the body entire equilibrium of the body is said to be partial and uh, if it is only in the rotational equilibrium not in the translational equilibrium so its uh, equilibrium is partial equilibrium so a and b both it means that option c that is either a or b both can be the answers for this question thank you very much